Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to this week's Commitments of Traders Review. Today we're going to have a look at the 48th CO2 report of 2018. So uh, we're getting closer to the last reports of this year. Uh, you can see the Chicago wheat on top of our list in respect to uh, changes in commercials positions. Uh, this change size is definitely much greater than average. We haven't seen this uh, size for, well, let's say half a year now. Uh, but if you look at the price of uh, the wheat market, you can see that uh, on Friday there has been a pretty significant rally. So this report that, of course, was published by CFTC on Friday may have been a little bit late for us to act upon. So let's just move over to have a look at the five years chart and see whether or not we have an extreme. Uh, you can see that there's a 34 report extreme in commercials, 33 in large speculators. So in relative terms, we can say that is something. But uh, of course, uh, let's respect the last major extreme, which was this bearish one. It was an effective signal. You can see how well it signaled this top over there. And we're pretty far away from those all-time or close to all-time bullish extremes. So there's not much to... Uh, gather from the report um, in, in the Chicago wheat here, I'd recommend you to move on and, and search for better opportunity. So we're just going to move over to heating oil, which is our next market for this review. There's a 12% change over there in commercials positions. You can see that we had similar changes in the past couple of weeks without any significant reaction. So one might argue why would be, why should we expect anything uh, now? Of course, as always, I've uh, uh, highlighted the fact that in uh, COT analysis, uh, I'd uh, consider COT extremes uh, a bit more significant signals, uh, but of course they they are um, more rare than than changes. Um, so let's move over to the five year chart and, and and see that COT extreme, uh, whether or not we have one. Well, the fact of the matter is, large speculators are net short now. They've just gone down below the zero line. Uh, the last time they were there was mid-2017, exactly uh, at this uh, relative bullish extreme. Well, it was actually pretty significant uh, that uh, signaled well this bottom over there. And the situation is getting very similar now. Of course, if you look at this five-year chart back over here in 2015, the end of 14, uh, you can see we had even greater extremes in the market. So this can easily continue. That's just a warning for you before you rush into the market and start buying heating oil. So, and of course, anything can happen. Uh, the fact is that the uh, COT extreme analysis, the, the, the measurement of the stresses in, in the market, uh, somehow is, is indicating that it is building up to the, bu to the bullish side of the market. So this could continue for a few more weeks or even a month before, uh, before the market reacts to it. So uh, nevertheless, it's, it's, it seems to be a good opportunity um, developing, but we may need to wait a little bit more for that. Uh, the next market is corn, where we have this 11% change in uh, commercials positions. You can see that change over there. Again, bullish COT change signal may be a little bit late for us. As you can see, there has been a bit of a rise um, the second part of uh, this week. Jumping to the five years chart, you can see that, well, I'd say we're more or less in between the two extremes. Um, so you can see the last major extreme was this bearish one uh, that uh, pushed prices lower and we've not uh, seen a bullish, major bullish extreme develop yet. So let's move on and have a look at large speculator COT extreme. And starting with the euro, where we have this 89% change, sorry, 89 report extreme in uh, large speculators' positions, you can see that over there. Uh, so this is widening, it's becoming larger and larger, but uh, as you can see on this five years chart, there's a lot of space left to, to reach those all-time bullish extremes. So this trend uh, in the euro could, uh, could easily continue. The last major extreme was this bearish, one uh, back uh, here in, in, in the early uh, weeks of, of this year. And since then, you can see how well the market reacted. So it's hard to tell uh, when, when it's going to change. We, we, we do have relative extremes when we do not reach those all-time or close to all-time levels. Uh, so, But those, of course, are more difficult to predict. Uh, it's much easier when we have something, well, let's say something like that over there. Or, or the one over here when we developed this all-time extreme. Of course, it was difficult to pinpoint the end, but once uh, the market uh, bottomed, 
Uh, we had some good uh, technical uh, analysis tools uh, indicating the bottom as well and coinciding with this all-time extreme in the market that was a great opportunity to go long in euro well we're definitely not there yet natural gas is our next market with a 78 report extreme uh, in large speculators the exact same extreme can be witnessed in uh, commercials and of course on a five years chart everything becomes a bit more visible so this is of course a bearish uh, cot extreme and a quite significant one actually so uh, you may see on this five years chart that uh, uh, this uh, this uh, extreme back in mid 2017 was actually a very effective signal uh, stopping this rally pushing prices back down and uh, of course after price movements that we've witnessed lately we're not surprised to see this bearish extreme in the market and i'll jump over heating and oil and crude oil now uh, to have a look at soybean meal where we have this 59 report extreme uh, in uh, large speculators positions you can see that over there and of course this isn't that significant 59 report uh, we've, we've of course uh, seen multiple occasions much greater extremes but you can see on the chart over there what that means and of course uh, um, the possibilities to to grow even greater uh, you can see these the largest extreme back over here in 2016 a bullish extreme very well signaled uh, this bottom in soybean meal prices and then of course we had one in mid 2017 again a very good opportunity to go long and now this is building up as the price is going down uh, but uh, of course this this could continue on for a few more weeks and months before we reach to the point when um, the extreme is, is just so high that there's a good possibility that uh, the prices uh, will start moving higher as well so that was our last market for this review I hope you enjoyed this uh, COT analysis and I hope I hope to see you next week have a great weekend take care goodbye